G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Explain. Today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of water everywhere by adding terrain to Explain 11. Firstly, let's try to understand how Explain 11's file structure works. So firstly we have the base layer. This base layer starts off with the mesh, which is the basic ground level for Explain 11. Now, during installation of global scenery, this should install the mesh surface for either the entire globe or certain areas. However, sometimes this process can fail, or to improve realism and amplify the effect of the next layer up, orthos and more detailed mesh is required. Well, no need to fear, our pilot X is here to save the day. This website, developed by an X laminar research developer, offers an expansion of addition to the mesh terrain in XPlay 11. As we can see, the areas covered include Europe, North, South and Central America, Australia, Japan, Hawaii, and the Himalayas. If we scroll down to the interactable map, you'll be able to find these locations in a grid, longitudinal and latitudinal format. So if we zoom in here to Hawaii with the North Shore of Oahu, we get multiple downloading options for the zip file. If you don't want to worry about logging into websites to download the zip file, then just click the second link. This will download the zip file directly. If we scroll down, there is some very important steps that you need to do in order for this to work, which I will simplify for you guys. So, we head over to our file explorer, simply unzip the file to whatever, with whatever unzipping tool you have on your system. Now let's look at the contents of this mesh. As you can see, there's a couple of .dsf files. Now this extension, also known as the distribution scenery format file, contains all the graphical and projection code needed to create the mesh scenery. If we look at the x 11 custom scenery folder and scroll all the way down, you should create the folder called ZZZHD Global Scenery 4. Now, two things. It's important that the file structure, because the mesh, this must be at the very bottom of all your custom scenery. Below that, and then airports and custom libraries and authors go on top of that. So next, inside this folder, we want to create another folder called EarthNav Data. Again, it is important that you name this file with the exact spelling, capitalization, and spacing. Otherwise, the linked directory calls in the build for the mesh won't work. Now, let's head back to downloads and simply drag and drop the mesh file with the longitude and latitude file name into this custom scenery folder. Now, the compilation of the game will take a little longer as it's reading new scenery files. But, as we can see, the mountains and mesh scenery has now been beautified to a lovely Tahitian island. Now the detail of this is a bit low. However, when you wrap this mesh with ortho texture, it's almost as good as Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. All right guys, let me know what videos, tutorials you want me to do for x 11 in the future. Thank you.